So here we are sitting in front of the A200 from Popcorn Hour and what I'm going to show you is how easy it actually is to connect to SMB or NFS share on this media player. So with the remote control we're just going to press the setup button and then browse down to the network share. Now from this network share we're just going to click on the right arrow button and go to browse. And this will actually show us all the items available on our uh, network. Now, in case of the popcorn hour, it will detect NFS server. So, this is going to be the first thing we're going to show you. We're just going to click on NFS server, and then you need to select whichever NFS server you want to use, should you have a multiple one. In my case, the NFS server is our NAS server with IP address 112. So, we're just going to select that one, and this should give you a list of all the folders that are available uh, using NFS. So we're just going to select our media folder, which is Mpedia, and select OK. And now we can just uh, give it a standard name, share name, and, and whatever is necessary to have some customization. But we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to click Add. Now, if we go back to the main page, you know, to the source where we were in the beginning, if we press down on the network icon we will actually see that it has mapped here Mpedia and this is NFS share and we can easily uh, go deeper and then see our content and play back from here so that's a very good start so for SMB it's quite similar to do this so we're just going back to the setup menu click network share again and then just click browse and instead of going to NFS server now we're going to use the same server and the same folder over SMB. So we we'll just enter our workgroup and select the Anaconda, which is our server that we selected before for NFS, and now actually select the Mpedia folder. And you will see you have a similar option here Anaconda uh, with the name, the, the folder. You can enter a custom share name or even a username and a password should you have no guest access enabled which I have so I don't need to enter anything further and just click add now you can see it added both onto this list but the most important thing is that these are both available from the main page just by clicking the down arrow while the icon of networking is selected and here is Mpedia NFS and here is Mpedia over SMB. So we can just click on it and it will work just as fine as the NFS server. So whatever you prefer, this is how you do it. So I hope this tutorial brought you something and I'll look forward to bringing you more like these in the near future.